I honestly should have just filmed the whole video like this. Oh, it's probably like so cute right now. Would anyone even take me seriously? And now we're just gonna chill like this. Hello everyone and welcome back to the fourth video of the spring refresh series. For anyone who's new, my name's Megs and in today's video I'm going to be talking to you about a mask that is known as the world's most powerful facial. And this mask is the Aztec Secret Indian Healing Clay Mask. So what makes this mask so special is that it is made out of clay, specifically bentonite clay, that is the only ingredient and what bentonite clay does is it literally sucks out any toxins and impurities from the surface of the skin. This mask is nothing new, nothing revolutionary. It has actually been around in the beauty industry for quite a number of years, and it's really well known for its beauty benefits. However, what a lot of people don't know is that this mask actually has a lot of health benefits, specifically for detoxifying the body and for detoxifying the skin. So this is another one of those things that I stumbled upon while I was forced to take my little life break while I was undergoing cancer treatment. I learned about this mask because of its detox benefits and then after that I learned about its beauty benefits and we all know I love multitasking so this mask does exactly that for me. Alrighty, so how this video is gonna go today is first I'm gonna explain to you the benefits of the mask and why I use it, where I use it on my body and then after that I'm gonna apply it and show you guys exactly the proper way to do that. So I apply this mask on my face and on my armpits, <laughs> yep on my armpits, hear me out. So I applied on my face because just like everyone else, I wear lotion, I wear makeup, I wear different products on my face, and unfortunately, it is impossible to have a 100% natural product. Everything contains some sort of chemicals, some sort of toxins, and it's really important to help your skin draw out those impurities, detoxify your skin from those toxins every so often. So that is exactly why I like to use this mask on my face, and why I think that everyone who puts anything on their skin really should. It also helps with acne, uneven skin tone, and blackheads, which everyone faces and is a really big pain in the butt for anyone. Now the reason why I put this mask on my pitties is because of its detoxifying benefits. So the armpits are directly linked to our lymph nodes and our lymphatic system and the deodorant that we use especially if it's not natural deodorant, is full with chemicals, filled with toxins, and that is literally going right on our armpits, which is literally going right into our lymph nodes. Our armpits actually absorb those chemicals, and that can be really unhealthy. This is also why it's really important to use natural deodorant, but what it does when you use the mask on your armpits is it literally draws out those chemicals, and it helps to flush out our lymphatic system and clean that area out really well. This mask can also help with odor or sweat. So if you find that you're someone who is particularly... Uh, more odorful than the average or if you're a little too sweaty for your own liking, using this mask on a regular basis can also help to clean out the pores and really minimize that. Not necessarily eliminate it, but minimize it for sure. Detoxifying the armpits is also a really crucial step when you're trying to transfer into using natural deodorant. So yes, there's actually like a process that you should follow when you are transferring into using a natural deodorant. If you go from regular to natural, it may not always work out for you. So if you'd be interested in a video on how to transition to natural deodorant, just leave a comment say me in the comments down below and I will make a video for you guys all about how you can transition from regular deodorant to natural deodorant which we should all do because regular deodorant has a lot of gross things in it just saying I've also seen that you can use this mask on like a lot of different areas of the body. So you can use it on your hair to remove any buildup from your scalp. You can use it as a foot soak. You can just put it in the bath to help detoxify your body. You can honestly use it as a mask on literally any area of your body to like help draw out impurities from that specific area. I have seen that you can drink it to like eliminate stuff from the inside. Don't know if I would necessarily do that. You didn't hear it from me, but apparently you can, so if you want to do that, probably do more research about it. But just going to say that this mask literally has so many different benefits that are really, really good for our body and for our beauty. Alrighty, so to make this mask, you only really need two ingredients. So the mask itself, which I bought off of Amazon, I've also seen it at Winners and Marshalls, but not on a consistent basis. So you can buy it on Amazon. I will link it down below. And it comes in a container just like this. And then you want to mix it with apple cider vinegar. And you really want to make sure you get the apple cider vinegar that has the mother in it. So you can mix the mask with water, but to get a better effect, I highly recommend mixing it with apple cider vinegar. I've already gone over the benefits of the bentonite clay, but the benefits of apple cider vinegar is that it is anti-inflammatory, and not only does it help with the odor and the sweat, but it can also help lighten dark armpits. So for any of us that have slightly darker armpits and wish to lighten them, using this mask consistently can help to improve that area. The 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 brightness of that area. <laughs> I'm just gonna make this mask and literally apply it with you guys right here. So I'm gonna give both of these guys a shake. And when making this concoction, it's very, very important not to use metal because metal messes with the clay and it makes it less effective. So use plastic, use wood, 
Do not use metal. I'm just gonna use this little plastic bowl. So what you wanna do is mix equal parts of the clay with the apple cider vinegar and basically mix it till you don't have any clumps. So should I do my armpits on camera? I'm gonna do my armpits on camera. Okay, so <laughs> I'm gonna mix like two scoops of this in here. And for anyone who's curious, I will show you a nice close up of what it looks like in here, what the powder looks like. And now the apple cider vinegar, give it a shake cause the mother like goes to the bottom if it stays for too long. So make sure you give it a nice shake. And then when you mix it, you will notice right away that it's starting to fizz. So that's a good sign. You basically, oops, want a consistency that's like creamy. I don't know what to say, the word is here, but you don't want any clumps. Now if the smell of the apple cider vinegar really bothers you, you can add some essential oils to this. I've seen people use rosemary because it's really good for anti-aging. And I've also seen people use tea tree oil. If you have acne, you can add a little bit of tea tree oil in and that's definitely gonna change the smell for you. Before we start applying the mask, you wanna make sure that the area that you're doing is clean. So if you're doing your armpits, make sure you wash them. There's no deodorant, there's no nothing. Face too, like cleanse your face, make sure your pores are open and ready. So to apply the mask to my face, I'm just gonna use this little brush and I'm literally just going to paint it on my face. I'm just gonna use my phone as a little, little camera here. Oh no, hair. Oh, I forgot to put my hair up. Put your hair up. No. I guess like now my hair is getting long enough that it's like starting to get into things. But I can do this now. <laughs> with this mask is when it starts to dry you're literally going to feel your skin tighten and pulsate so your skin pulsates because it's literally drawing out all of the dirt and impurities that are on your skin it's like not too intense but it does feel pretty cool do i look like shrek yet all right so after all this mixing this brush looks absolutely disgusting but since i've already done my face i'm okay with using it on my armpits and then washing it after so what I'm gonna do, and I can't believe I'm doing this on camera, <laughs> but I've actually already done this before. So if you watch my chemo hacks video, this is another thing that I use to like help detoxify my body after chemo. So if you're interested in that, we'll link it down below. But I'm um, basically just gonna apply a thin layer on both my armpits. Oh, I'm really about to do this, hey? Okay, let's do this. So for the face mask, I'd suggest doing it probably like once a week. And for the armpit mask, uh, I mean, like if you wanna do it once a week, you can. Sorry for my awkward uh, movements here. But if you want, I, I do it about once a month. I feel like that's enough. But this is cause I use natural deodorant. But if you do use like regular deodorant, then uh, maybe a little more often. Hope you all are enjoying watching this as much as I'm enjoying making this. All right, and now we're just gonna chill like this for about uh, 15 to 20 minutes. So at this point, it's been on for like about 15 minutes and I can like feel my face pulsating, which is kind of cool. One other thing that I may warn you about is don't freak out if you, <laughs> I hope people are actually being able to take me seriously when I'm like this. Don't freak out if your face is a little bit red. I know the first few times I tried it, my face was pretty red. It went away after a few hours, but if your skin's not used to like literally having things sucked out of it, it's gonna be a little bit red. All right, I'm not gonna make you guys wait here for 15 minutes with me, but uh, I'm gonna wait it out and then go wash it off and I'll come back. Alrighty, so I am back. As you can see, I do have a little bit of redness, like a lot kind of around here. I feel like that's where my skin's really sensitive and like around my nose, my cheeks are very sensitive also. So I do a little bit of redness there and you may notice that it will bring some impurities to the surface. So if you have like a deep pimple, it may bring it up to the surface. Another thing that I did quickly want to mention is when you are washing off this mask, be really careful of not clogging up your drain because the clay does obviously come off in clumps. So how I wash it off is I just take a face towel, I will get it all wet and then I'll just kind of rub it gently off of my face. This helps it come off easier and it also helps it not kind of go right into the drain directly. Just make sure you don't clog up the drain because I've done that before. And as I said, you may notice your skin's getting a little bit red, especially the first few times you do it or if you go longer times in between or if you have sensitive skin like I do, but make sure you moisturize right after because it will suck some of the like moisture out of your face. So make sure you moisturize right after and it should go away within a few hours. If you do have sensitive skin, I would recommend probably the first few times only doing it for like 10-ish minutes. Once you kind of feel it drying up, then wash it off. Just because you want to experiment, make sure that you're not overdoing it on your skin. Really, if you're someone that wears 
wears makeup or puts any sort of products on their face, which is literally everyone, it's really beneficial to detoxify your face every once in a while. And the Aztec clay mask, like I said, is from Amazon and the apple cider vinegar with the mother I just got at my local grocery store. I will link the mask down in the description box below. But yeah, that is just another way that you can detoxify your body and eliminate toxins from your skin. And I guess if you wanna try drinking it from inside, but you didn't hear it from me. So that is all for today's video. Thank you so much for tuning into the fourth video of the Spring Refresh series. I will see you on Wednesday with the next video, but for now, that is all. So know yourself, know your body, and until next time.